Hello friends, this is Duga here with summary of a song of hope by Ukeru Nolakal, Lunas Cat Walker. So I have uh, uploaded the summary on the best request of one of my subscribers. So before getting into the analysis and summary of the poem, let us uh, get a brief introduction about the author. So Ukeru Nolakal also known as Kat Walker, was born in 3rd November 1920 and she lived till 16 September 1993. She was an up original Australian political activist, artist and educator. Mainly he campaigned for aboriginal rights. Aboriginal means people who lived in a place for many, many years ago, more than around 50,000 years ago. She mainly fought against racism, and she has also established an educational and cultural center in an island where over 26,500 children were educated. She received the most prestigious award, member of the Order of British Empire. However, she returned this award as in the protest over the Australian government's intention to celebrate the Australian bicentenary, which she described as 200 years of unadulterated humiliation of Aboriginal people. So mainly she was a political activist who fought for the aboriginal rights of the aboriginal Australian. Knowing the poet will help us to understand the poetry better. We'll also be able to interpret the poem in the mindset of the poet. So the summary, the stanza one, look up my people. The dawn is breaking, the world is waking to a bright new day. When none defame us, no restriction tame us, nor color shame us, nor sneer dismay. The poet starts by saying, look up my people. So she addresses the people as her own. She identifies herself with the Aboriginal Australian. She's saying a new day is beginning. Here the dawn, the word dawn means beginning of a new day. A new day is beginning. The whole world is waking up to new ideas, to new thoughts, to a bright new day. Where none defame us, nobody is going to talk anything bad about them. There's no restriction upon them. And they don't have to worry about their color anymore. Nobody is going to create any shame on them or uh, citing their color. Not color shameless, not sneer dismay. There's no more disappointments. There's not going to be any more disappointments. There's not going to be any more uh, facial expressions that show the disappointment. So the whole world is going to wake up to a bright new day. Now, brood no more on the years behind you. The hope assigned you shall the path you play. When a gesture of justice grown white and stronger points the bone no longer at a darker face. Okay, now blue, no more. The word blue means thinking about something which is unpleasant over and over again. So she is telling her fellow people not to think about the past, the years behind you, not to think about the past, not to worry about the past anymore. Because the hope is going to replace the past. The new hope that is arising is going to replace the past. A justice which is juster than the justice itself. The justice which is going to be strong is going to emerge, is going to appear. And there is nobody who is going to uh, point at them. That is, she is calling themselves, their abortion Australians as a darker race. There is no one who is going to point at them and talk ill of them anymore because a new hope has emerged. So long we waited, bound and frustrated, till hate be hated and cast deposed. Now light shall guide us, no goal denied us, and all doors open that long were closed. In this stanza, she talks about the period of time, the long period of time that the Aboriginal Australians waited for freedom. She says how they were uh, restricted by boundaries and how they were frustrated, how they were angry and all the suffering that they went through. She says they waited till the hate be hated. Here it can be interpreted in two ways. 
either remotely and dramatically by the hate of Beijing itself or the, the hate of the European or, or people, the white people against the black that is getting hated. And the cast deport. Now the light is going to guide us. They are going to get a new pole. The, all the doors that were closed once upon a time are being opened now. We play the promise, dark freedom lover. Night is nearly over and so long the climb. New rights will greet us, new magic meet us, and joy complete us in our new tree time. So in this stanza, she is all positive. She is saying the night is over, though and though long the climb, though we had to wait for a lot of long time, though we have to suffer a lot, though we have to fight a lot, we have undergone a lot, and that is enough. Now there will be new rights, there will be new mateship, and there will be new joy in our dream time. And she concludes by saying to our fathers, fathers, that is the past, the pain, the sorrow, to our children's children, the glad tomorrow. So here she says, fathers, fathers, the grandfathers who underwent all the pain, and to our children's children, now we can welcome them, welcome the new generation with a glad tomorrow. So being an Aboriginal uh, political activist, so she talks in support in favor of all the Aboriginal Australians who were fighting for their rights. So this is the detailed summary. You can please go through. And I have given a vocabulary of some words for which you would like to know the meaning. If you like this video, please do share and subscribe. Your comments mean a lot to me. They keep me going. Please do share your comments. Thank you.